Welcome, today we're going to do another photo manipulation, a Photoshop tutorial on adding a touch of drama. Hi, I'm Joel Grimes. I am a working commercial advertising photographer. I like saying that because my dad, my professors, everyone around me when I was starting out said, don't expect to make a living with your camera, and I've been doing that for close to 40 years. So I love encouraging others to uh, uh, live their dream, have a passion for creating images and going out and making a living with their camera. So we're gonna do um, a, uh, take a picture I did of Faith, a beautiful model. I, I shot this for my, um, it was my One Light Master Class I did about a year ago. Uh, we went out in the field, did high speed sync, um, and we shot with a uh, 1.2 aperture lens, wide open, so a super shallow depth of field. Uh, the Canon EOS R, uh, with the eye tracking it was absolutely amazing um, it was the last light of the day and so if you're interested in watching that um, w i do have that one master uh, one light master class and i'm going to put a link below and we'll give you a a absolute uh, smoke and deal on a, a discount if you're interested in that um, i'm also going to give you a, a link to two things two little giveaways uh, one is the sky that i use in this uh, for this retouch here and also some uh, sun streaks that I went and created in Photoshop It's a file that you can drop onto any image and those the streaks are absolutely amazing I'll show you that in a minute. So look for those links below and uh, let's get started on this retouch So here's the image we have of faith and um, I did just a slight little bit of uh, frequent frequency separation uh, um, I did that before because I have a whole tutorial on YouTube that you can go to free access on how I do my frequency separation. So um, if you want to know how I did that, you can go and watch that tutorial. I have all sorts of tutorials on YouTube, so take a look at those. That's why you want to subscribe. Anyway, so this, this is a beautiful portrait. Uh, the light obviously is uh, lit for her to expose her, and then I... Um, Tried to dark, darken the background a little bit, but we're shooting into the sun. That's actually good. I like that. Um, we got a kind of a plain blue sky, not too exciting. Uh, so how can we take this image and what I call uh, finishing off? Fin I love to finish an image off. So there, there are a lot of um, uh, retouchers. I say retouchers in, um, in uh, L.A. I talk to them all the time. And they say, hey, Joel, refer to us as finishers. Um, so um, you may have not heard that term, but they like to be called finishers. They're taking d normally other f other photographers' work and they're going to finish it off. So let's do something that we would call consider uh, finishing and maybe adding a little bit of drama to. So I'm going to go Command J, just make a duplicate uh, layer here, and I'm going to go into uh, the first thing is to add uh, a sky. So let's go over here to this is new in the latest Photoshop. Um, our sky replacement and it's going to start creating a mask automatically um, so once you once it goes through its little drama here it's going to um, drop that sky in all right well that's that looks pretty bad right well let's just go over here I'm going to show you these are my skies here's another one I have in here um, we can flip it so let's see the sun on this one is going to be coming from the left that looks a little more realistic. Now, because I shot with a very shallow depth of field, basically her eyes are in focus, maybe a little bit of her nose and mouth, everything else is in focus. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to, to blur this sky background, it doesn't fit here now, uh, in, in a minute. So let's go through, uh, Photoshop has pre-dropped uh, in a bunch of skies for you. Uh, here's one that would probably work. Let's just tap on this one. Again, it's wrong, so we'd have to go and flip it. Let's go flip it on this side. That might work, but we're going to use one of mine. So let's go over here, Joel's Clouds. Um, I like this one. I actually tried this one, but let's just go with this one here. Um, and it doesn't fit very well, so that's one of the reasons why I want to show you how I make it look uh, like it, it works. So let's flip it first. All right, so the sun's coming from over here. Um, so what, what, what options do I have here? Well. I have uh, shift edge, fade edge, I have brightness, temperature, scale. Well, the scale we're not gonna touch right now, but we're gonna go to 
uh, the fade, oh, let's brightness first. So we're gonna go bring this thing up because obviously it doesn't, it's too dark. So let's open that up. Now we're gonna go to the fade in the edge. So let's take a look at what that does. Where it's going to give me a greater, I think a greater mask or closer to the horizon when it's on the left, less to the horizon when it's on the right. That's what I want. Let's see the, sh the, the shift. So let's see here. That's gonna feather it a little bit more. Now, because I shot a shallow depth of field, you got kind of a little bit of a weird thing going on the mountains here. So it's not blending and because it's not, it's still sharp, it's not fitting. We're gonna fix, fix that in a minute. So let's, let's take that edge a little bit less. We wanna make it subtle, all right? So we're gonna say, okay, and like magic, it comes over here and brings all these layers for you to manipulate layer later. So let's take, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and I'm gonna convert this layer to a smart filter, a convert to smart filter because I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, put, add a blur to it, but I don't know if I'm gonna hit it right off the bat, uh, uh, you know, right away. So let's go over here to um, blur, Gaussian blur. And I did a quick test of this before I started recording and I, I, I came up with 45. Uh, um, pixels, radius pixels. So let's go down a little bit lower. So let's see, that's four, almost five. You can see as I start w going up here, it gets a little more realistic, a little more realistic. And I would say somewhere around 40-ish looks pretty darn good. So let's just say, okay. Now, an hour from now or a week from now, if I've saved all this, I can go back and re- uh, set that blur. I'm not locked into it. So that's the beautiful thing about um, uh, this little uh, setup that Photoshop has. Now, the other thing I can do is I can feather um, the mask if I want. I can, I can uh, paint it back a little bit uh, because that mask is right there. Now, since I made a smart object, it uh, crunched that. But we, if I wanted to do, I would probably start out and feather that mask a little bit, but I don't need to do that. So here we have the sky replacement. That looks pretty good already. It looks better. So let's take a look at uh, building some drama with the sun and, um, you know, finishing this off. So let's go shift option or shift command and gives me a blank layer. Um, we're going to uh, take a white brush we're gonna to go to in the 30s, let's go to normal, in the 30s, somewhere around there, doesn't be exact. Uh, we're gonna make that brush as big as I can and we're gonna, we're on the layer, we're on white, we're on uh, opacity at 32. So we're gonna tap right there. Maybe we'll do it again, tap again. It's looking a little bit better. Maybe I wanna bring it into her just a little bit. So like the, the, the sun is just, kind of fogging, whoops, hold on a second. Let's go, we're gonna, we can pull this back by the way. So we pull it into her just a little bit. I need to be careful, I'm, I'm getting too, my walking pin's bouncing too many times on the, on the tablet here. So let's go there and then I'm gonna add a slight grain to that noise. Um, let's go to 210. 10 would be a good, just a little, that might be too much actually, hold on, command Z. Let's blow it up and take a look. I wanna add just a little bit of noise. 10 is too much. Let's go to five, see what happens. That's good, five's perfect. All right, now I can change the opacity. I can also go command T and stretch it. Hold the shift key down. Maybe I want to move it around a little bit. So I'm not locked into that. Uh, wherever I've put this, I'm not locked in. So let's, I think that looks pretty good right there. Now, let's go over here and I'm going to grab a streak that I made. Um, oh, it's been a long time, but I made this from scratch. And so that's why I can, I can end up giving it to you. So I'm going to go hit the V key and I'm going to grab it. We're going to pull it over here and we're gonna drop it in. It's gonna be kind of small, but it's uh, because I can go and stretch it. Let's do that. Let's go over here and we're gonna set that right in there. And it's probably a little bit too punchy. 
but we're now going to pull it down in opacity and maybe maybe we blur it first so again let's go make it into a smart filter because that's too sharp if it's if it, it was shot that it would be out of focus so let's let's add that blur to that too so we go to blur gaussian blur and um well we left it on 38 so i think we just leave it right there it looks pretty good so let's take a look at these two we're going to group these two so command g groups it and then we're going to say off on so already i can see that i've i've built some drama in there that i really like now i'm not done yet so let's keep going so we're going to go and i'm going to um uh, let's see, we want to take and do a little bit of a kind of a, uh, what I like is a little bit of a grunge look to it. So we're going to go shift option command E, which is a uh, stamp visible. We're going to hit that uh, twice. And then I'm going to go and create not a smart filter, but a smart object. So hold the control down and right click, convert to smart object. That is also going to give me some options of uh, manipulation and not be locked into it. So we'll do the same here. So we got two smart objects. Now this does take a lot of RAM uh, on your machine, so be aware of that. Uh, you're not going to have 30 smart objects without it affecting the performance of your machine. So let's go to the first one. Um, we're going to go into raw filter now. And I'm going to go and we're going to finish this thing off the way I would, let's say, um, if I was going to drop this into my portfolio. So we're going to pull the, the uh, highlights back just a little bit, open up the shadows just a little bit. We're going to touch and just tap the white uh, and hold down the um, option and just see where it clips. So it's going to clip over by the sun. So I don't really care that much, but we're going to hit the blacks. And see it clips right on the by the arm here so that's what tells me my black and white is where i want it to be we're going to add a little bit of, of, of texture just a tad of clarity and a tad of haze uh, pull back the contrast just a little bit um, we can go to our color mixer and manipulate the skin tones a little bit so let's just bring them up just a tad on the orange and maybe on the yellow so we're going to say okay so that's my layer below so let's go to the layer above and that one we're going to do again and we're going to go to raw uh, the filter and we're going to convert this to black and white and let's go back to my basics and we're going to do something similar pull back the contrast highlights just a little bit shadows just a little bit um, same thing with the blacks and the whites. Probably add a little more texture on this one, a little more clarity on this one, and a little more dehaze. And let's go to my mixer. We're going to pull down the skin just a tad. So I think that's good. We'll take a look at it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a blending mode and go to soft light. And then we're going to pull back the opacity a little bit here and I've gotten way too saturated so there's two things I can do one is I can create a, a hue saturation layer above and I do this on all my images I pull back the, the master about 10 to 15 depending on the image I'll take the reds about 10 to 12 somewhere around there and same with the yellows this is how I finish off all the skin toning on my images we're getting close here. I think I'm liking this. So let's go to, um, we want to go to levels. We're going to go over to my gradient, uh, which is over here on the uh, left of my, my palette. And we're going to take the, uh, the circular, or I think they call it the radial gradient. Radial gradient is the technical name. We're going to pull from the nose down. And we've got a mask now that's uh, a, a, a uh, the, the ability to do this vignette. So we're going to pull the midtones down just a little bit right there. And then what I do is I always go to a black and white layer just to take a look at my tones. I make it small 
and then I bring it back up. And if I need to manipulate my skin tones at all, what I'd normally do is do a layer, last fin fin finishing touch, and I look at my histogram here. That histogram actually looks pretty good. We might be able to tap just a little bit on the, on the highlights, because I know we're getting a big highlight blown out here, which is fine. Um, we're probably tapping into the skin tones right about here on my histogram. So I don't mind that. So we take that, that black and white off, Go down small, and then we're going to group this so we can say before and after, before and after. Well, I like it. Once again, your vision is going to be different than my vision, but the good news is uh, we can we have the tools at hand to go and do things that we could never do before. Uh, you know, back when I was shooting film, uh, you often just took the film uh, from the lab and dropped it straight off to the client. Didn't have this option, folks. We are in the greatest age of photography. I love where we're at. I can't get enough of it. I have so much fun. I hope you do too. Hope you learned something today. So. Um, don't forget to uh, subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell, but leave me a comment. Hopefully I can get to that comment. I'm trying to keep up and uh, check out those uh, links below to get those uh, sky and that uh, the sun streaking thing there. Uh, and we'll see you again, hopefully uh, soon on the next uh, tutorial.